Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Baby Girl 1580, and we're doing a video for the gameplay HQ. And what game are we covering today? Ding, ding, ding! Saints Row 2. I know it's an oldie, but it's a goodie in my book. You know, with Saints Row 4 coming out in August, I've taken the time to actually play part two and play part one and play part three just you know getting ready for part four and I noticed that it was some achievements on part two that I had not yet gotten now this achievement that I'm talking about here today has to be the most annoying achievement on the game seriously because the game can cheat impossibly seriously you guys if you guys are on this video Nine times out of ten, you've played it, and you know what the hell I'm talking about. And that achievement that we are talking about is Blue Collar. Yes, completing all of the diversions, um, taxi, ambulance, fire truck, tow truck, and um, I think that's it. Now, you know, the taxi and the ambulance weren't too hard. The di This achievement didn't get hard until you actually try to go for the fire truck and the tow truck now those two were the ones that I was stuck on and after trying it a couple of times it made me just say fuck this game and I'm done but you know since I broke it open and I said you know what I'm gonna give it another try so I'm gonna give you guys my strategy on how to get it I already looked on the internet and I haven't seen any good good videos on here like explaining what to do so that's why I'm taking the time to do it and I hope you guys appreciate it now first we're gonna talk the the fire truck which is annoying but not as not as annoying as a tow truck okay with fire truck you have to call a fire truck which is you know, what you do is you break out a phone you're, you're you turn on your phone from the start menu and you dial 555 fire and that will have a fire truck delivered to you once the fire truck is delivered, you then jump in the truck and it gives you an option to press Y and that's how you start the diversion. Now once you start the diversion, it's going to take you to multiple businesses and you have to go inside of the businesses and put the fires out. It sounds simple, right? Well, no, it's not simple because depending on where you are on the map, that's what's going to make it really, really hard. Like if you were to start this diversion in the middle of downtown or or anywhere in like the Saints Row hood like the red light district this achievement is gonna be hell you're setting yourself up for failure why because the streets are so small and the turns are very very sharp so this is my this is my strategy with fire truck what you do is you wanna go all the way up to the tippy top left hand corner of the map which is I think suburb expansion and that's where you dial your fire truck you dial your fire truck over there why because the streets are wider for one the businesses are very easily easily to get to from the street and they're spread apart you know they're not close to each other but some of them are kind of close to each other but it's just if you start off over there and you do the majority like levels one through six over there by the time you get to the last four you will just be making it into like the really busy part of the city which is like downtown you'll just be making it to downtown and you will be able to still maneuver your truck around um, better you won't be in the really tight spaces of downtown at that point so the most annoying thing about the fire truck achievement is actually driving the fire truck because it's, for one it's slow it is very hard to turn because of the streets and compared to its size in the street so I'm gonna show you this right here um, you guys um, hopefully this helps and um, after I do it I'm going to um, do the give you guys my strategy for tow truck so Take a look. Looking good, yo.
I'd like to add to this fire truck diversion video by saying that when you go into the buildings and you put out the fire, if you have like three or four fires next to each other, aim for the middle. Why? Because if you aim for the middle, it you're extinguishing the middle plus everything around it. So instead of like putting out individual pieces, if they're right next to each other, try to put out multiple with one blast because another thing about fire truck diversion is the running back to the truck to have to fill up your extinguisher it takes a lot of time away and um, you're already timed on this to begin with if you run out of time you have to start over from one so while you're in there putting out fires if you have multiple fires next to each other go for the middle so it so the one blast will not only put out the middle, but the surrounding fires around it.
Can you, like... Ha <laughs> ha